Welcome to my trick for straight eyeliner 2.0. Because the first video I made five years ago, I can't believe it. And I always thought I would make a new version of that video because I was so chaotic in that video. I could not even for my life explain how to do that type of eyeliner, but I'm gonna show you how to do it today. In that old video, I used an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. Today, we're gonna be using Makeup by Mario because Makeup by Mario did not exist back when I made that video in like 2019. We have Makeup by Mario now, guys. <laughs> I'm all about affordable products. I'm also about splurging when, when you want. How do I even? I'm about spending money. Go show them. It's your birthday. If you want to splurge, but you don't have to. Drugstore products are always a great option. So I have my mirror right in front of me. Guys, I've gotten a lot better at explaining things. Um, <laughs> if you watched that first video, I was so crazy in that. Um, so the trick is you need to have the mirror right in front of you. You tilt your head down and you keep your eyes open. Your eyes need to be open when you're doing your eyeliner. Otherwise, if you just do your eyeliner with your eye closed, it's only going to look good when your eyes are closed. Okay, let's go. We got the eyeliner. Just do a little, little test run to make sure it's working. And I'm not going to make it go like straight out. It's going to go a little bit tilted up, like a little bit, like that slight elevation. All right, here we go. There's the first line. Wow, I drew a really long line. It's always different, you know? It's going to be different every time. It's going to be different when you do your other eye too. Because some people, their eyelids are uneven like mine. My eyelids are actually uneven. I don't know if you can tell, but I do have an astigmatism. And that's okay. We're gonna love ourselves no matter what. Okay, tilt your head down, keep your eye open. You wanna keep your eye liner sharp. So I'm gonna start at like a midpoint in here. So I'm gonna draw it all the way back. And since my eyelids are slightly hooded, I kinda did like a skip over, but it's a straight line when it's open. Okay. Then we're gonna fill it in. And see how it just looks like my eyeliner is just very straight across when my eye is open. And then when I close my eye, it's kind of got this like triangular effect to it, which I honestly, yeah, I think that looks really good too. Slowly, if I want to add more eyeliner, I do. So I just kind of draw it in a little bit more. Um, just very close to the lash line. I just try to keep it really tight. I do have um, particularly small eyelids. I have epicanthic folds. So my eyelid skin is a little bit, it might be different for you. It might be the same. Because I lack eyelid space, I don't want my eye to look too crowded or tight. So I only really draw the line like maybe midway or like quarter, the outer quarter, quarter of the corner. Like th that looks so good, doesn't it? Or maybe you think it looks horrible and you never want to speak to me again. That's fine. Goodbye. It's very interesting. Eyeliner is so interesting. It's so interesting on everybody. Everybody has a shape that works for them. Or, you know, even if your eyelids are different than mine, you can sort of use these same techniques and just kind of change it a little bit to the degree of what angle you need to be at <laughs> for, you, for you. So now that this side is looking pretty successful, it looks good when our eye is open, it looks good when our eye is closed, we're gonna do the other eye, which might be hard. It might be flawless. Sometimes I'm able to just do it, but don't feel bad if you can't because that also happens to me. And I've been doing this for a very long time. When was the first time I even tried doing liquid eyeliner? I was probably in like fifth or sixth grade. 
And I wasn't even allowed to wear makeup at school. So I would just go home and like play dress up and like pretend like I knew what I was doing. I'd watch Michelle Phan tutorials and just, I was like, yeah, that's, that is what I'm becoming. A guru, a makeup artist, an artist. I, I am an artist. Actually though, I am. I do have my Bachelor of Fine Art, so I'm a fine artist. If I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, ready? We're doing the other eye. Okay. Let's go. Does that look- oh! <laughs> Perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing where we have our mirror right here, a little bit down, uh, tilted down, and we tilt our head down and keep our eye open. And we're looking right at the mirror that's below us. So that way, we can just draw it. Ooh, yes, yes! Okay, I think. <laughs> we fill it in, fill her up, girl. Filling up the gas tank. Beautiful. Personally, I don't think this looks perfect. I was gonna be like, oh, we did it guys, congrats. But because I mentioned my eyelids are uneven, I'm gonna even them out a little bit because the first one we did, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more because my eyelid's bigger here so I didn't have that skip over thing. You can actually see that my eyelid is bigger on this side. <laughs> my eye kind of jets out a little bit more. So my eyelid comes forward a bit more. That is so weird. And that is so personal. I never tell people that. But now you're going to notice it all the time if you watch my videos. If I make more videos, I'm going to make more videos. I promise. So now I'm just going to keep... I'm going to keep like evening them out. And make it look... Oh, great. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> I was gonna try to go through this whole process and be like, oh, God, you know, it's just a back and forth, give and take, you gotta make it even, it might take a hundred years, but it, that just took a second. Cool, guys. Wow, that was so quick. I thought we would have more time to spend together. I don't know when this happened, when I got my own lipstick on my cheek. That's a skill. Maybe I accidentally got it on my lips and then I went. Oh, you know what? I swatched on my hand earlier. The tutorial's already done, but if you want to stick around and just like watch me put my eyelashes, my mascara on, um, I use the Shiseido eyelash curler because it is like the only eyelash curler that is flat enough to grab all my lashes. Like, I don't know what it is why a lot of eyelash curlers, they are like so curved. Like this one is just nice and flat. You can see, I mean, it's still a low curve, but it really helps. Um, so, so much. I gotta clean mine. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. It's like so gunky. And then I am using a Lancome mascara. This is the travel size Lash Eagle. Guys, I know how to speak a little bit of French. <laughs> or at least I know how to pronounce French sometimes. I did take French in high school. A little story time about my French teacher. She was so, so strict that like we were not allowed to really speak English in class and we had to speak French. And if we like needed something, like we need to go to the bathroom, we need to go to the, go to our locker. Like we'd have to ask her in French. But anyway, she was so strict. Like she would like make me cry in class. Like it was like a whole thing that was like crazy. But anyway, my French, my French pronunciation was so good that I visited Paris with my family back in like 2014 and a waiter at the restaurant asked me, how long are you showing this family around? Because I was the only person who could speak French to, um, to the people at the restaurant. My, none, no one else in my family like knew any French. And I was like, this is literally my family. <laughs> Like my, my French speaking was apparently so good that they thought I was like from there. That really like boosted my ego. But anyway, I like, I like put that story on my Instagram story. Someone I went to high school with replied to my story and said, Madame wasn't just strict, she was brutal. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. 
you're right. I cannot believe I endured that, but she ended up writing me a letter of recommendation because I was able to stand up for myself and start talking back to her in French. Then she liked me because I was able to be sassy to her. I don't know why I just like told that story. Oh, because I'm using Lancome mascara. Also, like I am like a drugstore girly at heart. And back when I made that first video, I could, I was still in college. So I had college student budget. I could not afford any of that nice high-end makeup, like at all. It's still unreal to me that I get to use like products like Lancome and Makeup by Mario. Like it's kind of crazy to me. This mascara is so good, guys. It's not clumpy at all. My lashes are just like, it feels like I spend the most time putting mascara on. Cause it's like, that's something you wanna take your time with. And then I end up just talking so much when I'm putting mascara on. I'm so sorry. Anyway, honestly, that is it for this tutorial. I hope it was a lot more concise. Thank you if you watched the first one before because I had like maybe like a hundred subscribers on YouTube when I did that first video and that video got like 30,000 views. I was like not used to getting 30,000 views on like a full length YouTube video. That's a lot to me <laughs> because like nowadays I'm, I'm trying to get back on the long form content so I really appreciate you here. I appreciate if you watch any of my videos, seriously. Like, liking my videos helps. Hoping to be here a lot more because I have my amazing friend, Sarah, editing my videos now. Thank you, Sarah. You're amazing, I love you. Thank you so much, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave the sun emoji if you've watched the entire thing. I don't know why I chose that. Well, I chose that because I could see it on my viewfinder, like the little, there's like a little sun on there. So I'm gonna be so sad if like nobody leaves the sun emoji. I'm gonna comment on this video and I'm gonna leave the sun emoji. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna be the first comment. First comment! And people are gonna be like, why did she just, why did she comment the sun emoji? And then I'm gonna know that's cause you didn't watch the whole thing. Okay, let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I can make a tutorial on how to make pancakes. Goodbye guys, love you.